Hi everybody, Paul Cameron here from speedupmyjobsearch.com with a clip from our monthly jobs driven networking group, which meets every third Thursday. Let's take a look. The hardest part of this for me in the nuts and bolts section is to remember your purpose behind what you're, why you're doing what you're doing here. Um, because I'm gonna ask you to categorize people, human beings, and then rank these people. I'm not asking you to rank their value as a human being, but their value to your connection to them as it relates to your career. That's important to know going in, because that's a hard part for me. I'm thinking, well, why is that person an A plus and this person's a, a C? It's not, not, not their human value, right? I mean, as a God, we're all equal value and, and very valuable, right? So categorize. The way that I would categorize, and I recommend um, categorizing, is first, take a look at their distance from your career. Right? Is this a, a distant relative that has nothing to do with technology or how far are they from your career? Um, and, and distance miles wise isn't as important, although it should be a factor. You know, if the person's in California, you know, how many people are they going to know in the Chicago area who can help you with your job search? The function of what they do, right? Do they work in your field or do they not? Do they work in tech? Do they not work in tech? And then within your industry or not makes a difference because from a recruiter's perspective, uh, when I get a new search assignment, they will usually give a preference to somebody who works within their industry over somebody who doesn't. Prioritizing, uh, I use a kind of grading system just like you would at school. So A plus, these are your champions, right? There are raving fans, or there's lots of people who talk about ranking their contacts uh, in, in different ways, however you want to rank them. But these are the people who think of you often. They think you are just, you know, you, you, you're really doing good things out there. And so whenever somebody could possibly be a fit for you, they refer. Your A's, these are people who view you as their go-to person, when I'm thinking of, you know, insurance, I think of you, right? You're the person that I refer people to and the only person that I refer people to. But keep in mind, that only means I'm probably going to refer one or two people, if that, per year. You know, they're not out there selling for you as if they work for you. Just they're thinking about you. Bees, they like you, not exclusively you. They know other people who also sell insurance and they refer people to you specifically based on a certain set of circumstances. So it's an occasional referral. C, these are people who love you personally, but rarely refer anybody to you and possibly have no idea what you do for a living, right? So this would be where I would categorize like family members or college friends or people who I'm, I'm close with, but it's not really a work referral kind of a relationship. Below that, they don't need to be in your career network system, right? If you're keeping track of everyone, which I would recommend that you do, not just in your head or in your inbox, but you have a system to keep track of them. If they're outside of that A plus A, B, and C, take them out of there. Anybody who is in that B column, so A plus A, B, C, D, if they are a B, your goal is to constantly be moving them. Your B level should be empty most of the time, all right? These are people you're not quite sure how they feel about you. If you know, Maybe they're an A, maybe they're a C, but find out. And the way that you would find that out is by asking them to take an action of some sort, all right? So... Um, you know, call them and ask them, hey, would you mind writing uh, a recommendation for me on LinkedIn or dropping me an endorsement on my LinkedIn profile? If you have a blog or, you know, a, a YouTube video or, or, or a channel out there, ask them to go read your blog and post a comment, you know, or watch your video and post a comment. And then if they do, you'll have a better sense of how they feel about you. If they don't, you'll have a better sense of how they feel about you and then move them up and down 
in your rankings accordingly. We're gonna create a frequency schedule, all right? So your A plus people, they're referring you a lot. You're the go-to person, they really like you a lot. Stay in contact with them every month, every other month uh, along those lines. Come up with a, uh, a reminder system for yourself. If you don't have one, I've got one, but uh, if you come up with one on your own, there's lots of tools and systems out there. Uh, it's not the tool, it's the, it's the process, the method here. Um, to stay in touch with them throughout the year so that you stay top of mind with them, especially your champions, and find a way to, to add value, to, to serve them in some way and provide value to them uh, in any way that you can, right? People that I would consider an A, you know, every few months, stay in touch with them, you know, shoot them an email, send them a note and have a, uh, if you've got a list of things on ways to follow up with people uh, to do those things. These this is every six months to a year. So people that aren't as frequent, but you don't want to lose touch completely with them. And then C's kind of varies. You know, if it's your family, probably should hang out with them more than just uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas or, or talk to them for more freely. That's totally up to you how often you stay uh, connected with your families. Trello, uh, that's my system that I use. Trello.com is a free tool. Everybody's welcome to use it. Uh, if you go to speedupmyjobsearch.com or speedupmysearch.com. Like I say they're both there. Uh, and you, you sign up for the free membership, I will send you my board so you can see it. Um, but one thing that I do on here is I will actually embed, uh, I, I create picture files uh, of people. And this is just kind of my own invention. I'm going to share a couple. I got permission uh, from one of these guys because he's on the call uh, here. But the other one I just used because everybody knows, but he's in my network. Um, these are what I would use as picture files. And I do this uh, for everybody that I can. And I color code them so I know, uh, you know, how I know them. Uh, you know, if they're in my network, red means one thing, blue means a different thing. Uh, and, you know, yellow and green and, and different things uh, within my network. But I'll do this so that when I open my Trello board, I can actually see their face and their name. So that if I ever run into them at a networking event, I don't have to remember, oh, what is that one guy's name? I said LinkedIn guy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he always wears the bow tie. Oh, that's, you know, I don't have to do that. I go, oh, that's Bruce Pixar, right? Not that you'd have to do that with Bruce. I, I think uh, most of us know Bruce, All right? And then I put them into, this is what my Trello board would look like. And again, I've got some more uh, names in here, uh, recognizable. But in here, I've got, different lists, and I just randomly put these in here, these faces in here. This isn't my frequency schedule for these individuals. I just did this for the example today. Uh, but here's my one, one month network, and I've got this list set up to send me reminders. So I go to my one month, hey, you've got somebody from the one month to go to, and I can scroll through this, and I'm seeing names and faces. The other thing you can do is right on the front of these cards to put you know the person's name and when I'm supposed to contact him next, Steve, uh, I'm supposed to contact you tomorrow, so I will. Um, and, and I can even put, you know, I do just personality profiles uh, of people, and I can put that right on here, you know, so this person likes leading others. I know tendencies in their dispersonality of, of Steve is that captain type personality, so I know how to gauge my communication with Steve. It's going to be bottom line on top, short, quick conversation, get to the point, and, you know, let's, let's set up that next meeting. Uh, so we can continue to collaborate and learn from one another. You know, Jim is going to be a little bit different of a conversation uh, where Bruce is, you know, yet another you know, different kind of conversation. So that's how I categorize things. Now, in my, you know, like I say, in my courses and things, I will tell you, I've got all this laid out and step by step, nuts and bolts, how to do all this. I hope that was helpful for you. And please check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more tips and strategies to help you with your job search. I'd love to meet you at the next one, so I hope you can make it. Thanks for watching.